Good evening, ladies and jelly beans. Just do a quick sky on the fly because I've uh, been burning the world's head out on my phone today, so I've got not got much uh, had a chance to charge my battery much. Um, what we got today? Nice plane. So just a little channel update. Uh, kind of been playing and messing for a while so <clears throat> it's a few different things I want to do just kind of an update and an update I did the other day um, it's going to be April-ish now so because I get to go do some travelling um, there's going to be a few changes to the channel I'm debating whether to split it into two um, I mean, details will come later, but if you've uh, watched some of my videos, you know that I've I'm all about the uh, <laughs> full disclosure of personal testimony for mental health. And um, last week or so, I, you know, I've kind of made a decision of where I'm going, and more importantly, being there. Considering certain avenues and you know partnerships and possible support and sponsorship and things I can get, I'm quite lucky to have been. Um, what we got over here? It's bizarre. Why is that just an air still? Can we see it on the phone? It might actually just be a plane. I'm looking. What? Mm. Right, just shut off then. I thought that were it. I thought I caught the one. Where are we going? I don't know what the hell's up with this. Why is it so. Why is it not showing up? Is that going in and out of focus? <sighs> not, not to be something crazy like this when I'm trying to do a serious update. Right. Start again. Where are we at? Oh my days, why can't I see it? Oh, wow. <laughs> it just disappeared. I might have to edit it that I'll put it in a different video. Um, I'm a bit insane. No, it's back. Fucking hell, is that? Right, let me think. Let me think. How can I do this while still recording? No, I need some more light on my phone. Why can't I see that with my eye in the night camera, shouldn't it? But the other way, if it's not funny. That's so peculiar. Where's it gone again? Must be a plane. You know, I think that's the kind of direction. Anyway, so yeah, I might have to edit that bit out, but um, while we're here, getting a bit of a. Uh, it's a bit of a crazy sky, yeah, because it's always fun and games. Uh, yeah, so, um, so I, I'm all about, um, you know, maybe changing mainly sufferers' views and <clears throat> self image when it comes to mental health. And I've also got, you know, big questions. Um, and opinions on what actually it's supposed to mean when you use the term healing. Uh, you know, I've got opinions about a lot of things, let's be honest, but um, you know, some of them, <laughs> some, some of my powers are used for good. 
I'm feeling very um, calm lately. Kind of done this very purposeful, crazy trade. Sometimes not always purposeful. No, I've uh, got to deal with myself a little bit more recent times. I, I mean, I'm doing all this thing, but I'm a big believer in advocacy and speaking on something you know and experience because no one wants to be patronised. I don't class myself as healed. I've not gone and done any uh, courses. I've done a lot of reading. I'm a very bright person. I, I understand a lot about human behaviour and stuff, but that's the whole point. A lot of it. You know, it's mental health, it's a very complex thing. And society is a very complex thing and I don't know, I just think um, it's kind of like self-empowerment, isn't it? But, you know, showing people that maybe what they're looking for, for to heal or acceptability or, you know, I used to think I had strange views and then one day I woke up and all these people that had seemingly normal lives, well, I were locked in my house and couldn't go out with emailing me and ringing me up and asking me for advice. I'm like, that's just insanity. It makes no sense. But it gave me a lot to think about. And that's why I question, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think, you know, people who, people who are like psychiatrists and, you know, spend a lot of years, a lot of years studying and I think if it's not for them and they ain't got some kind of passion about it, they probably don't even get through to end of course. I, I'm not saying that there are amazing people who may have never even had first-hand struggles when it comes to mental health, which is such a broad term anyway, but, you know, encompasses a lot of things. Uh, and, you know, more power to them. But even um, organisations and governments, you know, our government definitely um, is, has been for quite a while now going down the route of like ex service users becoming, you know, workers and stuff because it's like anything else in life. If, you, uh, if you've experienced it, you know, you can, you can speak on it. I mean, not everybody's going to speak on it. Not everything I say is going to be connected to some people, but I think the point is as well is I've learned a lot myself about, and I've never been a judgmental person, but I've always put myself in a kind of niche category. Like I'm a bit of a tomboy, like my friends are a bit of tomboys. Not tomboys, but you know, a lot of them are my age. We grew up in the 90s, read a lot of women in power and, and um, you know, girls were drinking pints and still being girly and, you know, very strange times, really. Very new times and stuff, and so there's a lot, but, you know, I've con I found my girly girl, maybe not in the same way as other people see it. The amount, <laughs> the friends I've got now, I just never would have seen myself being, you know, connecting with. But, you know, I got to learn a lot myself. And I... <laughs> I very much hope I'll carry on learning till day to day. Otherwise, what's the point? What, what is the point? You know, what we're we here for? That's my thing, anyway. But I kind of, I've kind of had this really lucky set of circumstances in recent years. You know, helps having a big mouth and passion. More than I, I actually understood the power of that. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like I've got a, like a community and I feel like I've encouraged other people to talk and speak up and a lot of people want to get involved as well so it's not about I'm going on this big power trip and stuff, I, I just feel like there's something missing still and, and I have got all answers, there's other people that can bring something else to the table as well, you know, but qualifications are everything. Giving a shit basically. I mean, you can't really, you can't, you can't really fake it, you can't substitute it. God knows you can't not be like that, even if you want to be. 
empathy just to be my biggest burden. No, it's superpower. Do you know how that is? We've all got a little post traumatic from this society to keep your empathy through your own shit, your own traumas. You know, even other people with mental health, you know, it's like you, you ain't got the same flavour that you're judging you. I've done it myself. We all need to get over his own bullshit, basically. I think if you haven't learned that over this last few years, you've been totally missing the point. I think the battery's gonna go soon. Yeah, funny messy sky again, yeah? You watch, we'll start getting it all figured out. Aliens will come down and want us all for, uh, for his DNA, and that'll be it. Actually, at least this beautiful planet will survive, because we aren't looking after it very well. Not exactly a trio good, but you know, anyone who goes out of the way to try to, you know, make world a bit of shit for them, I think they're a bit of a, a bit of an asshole, really. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't believe this is two minutes from my front door and I live in a council state. Start walking back. I shouldn't say that, it sounds so detrimental. Before Christmas, you know, it's like these people that I, mean, I don't currently work. Sometimes I can't even leave for some months, I can't even leave my house. But, you know, I used to be a complete lock in, so you know, improvement. Getting there. The people who, you know, two incomes coming in the house with kids and they're having to go to food banks and stuff like this and this and all that. <laughs> and it was such an eye opener because they were like living a low income, in a low income area, you know, people aren't that much. And they're also, I'm not going to it, some his personal business, but someday got a nice ace terminally ill. But they had a, an incident when they found out and People I didn't even know, everybody just rallied round and they're like, people with nothing. So they got all passionate and wanted to do anything that they could to make sure other people at least had a nice Christmas day. The world's changing. We're all getting a bit brave and sick of us own bullshit. But anyway, so travels, that's another story, but I'll be going soon for a week to go see my beautiful soul sister. And then when I'm back, we're on the game, we're on the game, we're on the game. And uh, I'm really hoping some of you will find your own brave and get involved. You know, you'd, I'm not looking for money, I don't need money. <laughs> we don't need money, we just need advice and to give a shit. And, you know, maybe get old fashioned and build community again. I might help try to get run over here. Anyway, time for um a lovely weekend guys. Peace, love, light. And I know ironic sense of humour that always helps as well. Can't be gonna be careful, can't be careful, take polaroids, you might need money. Ta-ta.